Welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins, happy to bring you this pastel painting tutorial. And in this lesson, you'll be learning about painting on a homemade surface. I'll give you the recipe. You'll learn how to use acrylic ink to create a nice initial value study before painting and the beautiful textural quality of painting on these homemade boards. I'll also be sharing how painting with your non-dominant hand can create some beautiful results. I'm happy to bring you this free version of this painting tutorial, and I'd really appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep these free videos coming. You'll learn a lot in this lesson, but if you want a little bit more, I encourage you to become a patron of mine on my Patreon page. My patrons will get all real-time content, extra commentary, and more. Here's some of their beautiful faces, and I'd love to have you as part of the family for only $5 a month. Now, let's get started. Welcome friends to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins bringing you a pastel painting tutorial where I will be using a rather large, this is larger than I normally work, prepared board that is a homemade pastel surface. I love making my own pastel surfaces. Not only are they affordable, more affordable than the professional sanded papers, but you can express your creativity with color and texture. So I'm gonna be talking a lot about this surface and also I'll be painting a lovely scene of some wildflowers. So I hope you'll come along with me. I'm gonna share a lot about products, techniques, and more. All right, here we go. The board is actually a 16 by 20 size. I actually love working large. I'm just in a small studio and sometimes it's not practical for shipping. So I'm excited about this one and it is a piece of mat board. I will give the recipe for how I prepared the surface and talk more about it during the video. Um, but I'm excited about this, not only because it's large, but because it's purple. It's not my normal underpainting color. Um, a lot of times I'll do warm underpaintings because they work really good with, uh, it's a complement to a lot of landscapes that have greens and blues in them. But this purple I thought was nice for a reference image I chose from unsplash.com that had this soft, um, just kind of a late afternoon feel. The greens weren't really green. Everything was kind of cool in color. And um, I just thought this purple would work well for that. I used a variety of brands of soft pastels. And as you can see, I kept it fairly cool. Oh, that was a gray hair <laughs> in my little palette there. Um, I have a lot of beautiful purples, some really pretty neutral blues, and very cool greens. I wanted this to feel like a early morning or late afternoon scene with some soft and neutral colors. Also, I'll be using to create an underpainting um, well, it already is kind of an underpainting, but for my first value study, I'm going to be using um, this acrylic ink. It's made by Dayla Rowney, the one that I use, and this is called Purple Lake. It makes a great dark um, to get down your darker values, and I'm going to try to regulate it with a little bit of water. I'm going to make a value study with just this on the board, and the reason I'm doing that is because when you make homemade surfaces, a lot of times you can't get quite the amount of layering that you can with some of the professional, very sanded surfaces. So I'm constantly trying to think, how can I do things to not take up an extra layer? Well, if you use acrylic ink, um, and there's a few other mediums you could use for your first layers, then you've still got that texture to add pastel to. So that's my strategy. But I'm gonna be using a little bit of water. Um, I've, I've used a Tupperware container here where I can hopefully regulate it. I'm going to um, use full strength for my darkest darks with the acrylic ink, and then I will add water to it when I need to lighten things up. I'll be putting my acrylic ink in a little dish to be able to use with a brush and maybe even with a sponge. I wanna get some neat texture here. So I'm just kind of experimenting like I always do and bringing you guys along for the ride. So I hope this painting comes out okay and I hope you learned something. Once again, my reference images are from unsplash.com. I love that site for copyright free images. I actually use two images for inspiration and you'll be able to find the clickable link to both of those in the description of this video. If you're a patron of mine, this is the portion where the remaining content will be real time with all of my commentary. But not to worry, those here in Monet Cafe, 
because even though this free content is sped up a bit, I think you can still follow along and on YouTube, you can actually play this back at slow speed. So here I'm just getting ready to start with the acrylic ink to create my initial darkest values. Also, I will have the recipe for how I created this board in the description of this video along with lots of other helpful information. So I want you guys to comment and let me know if you've ever tried a homemade surface and or and if you have, what did you like? Did it work? Also, I have another video, eight ways to make your own pastel surfaces. Of course, you could use my same painting techniques here on any surface, as I always say, whatever you have available. But if you've been on this channel long, you know I love stretching the boundaries and learning new ways to do this because it really is a way to save money when you can create your own surfaces and boards. I love painting large, and this one was really a lot of fun for me. I also really loved how this board and this technique lends itself towards that soft romantic painterly style and I in my Patreon um, version of this video I talk about some of the things in working with homemade surfaces how it can feel a little odd at first and some little tips and things to get past those initial first layers and then things just really start to come together. You can see how I've used this acrylic ink. The link for this ink will be in the description of this video. It's a Daler Rowney acrylic ink called Purple Lake. It's a wonderful dark, and I've used it in different strengths. I've been diluting it a little bit with water in some por portions of this. Also, I'm using a sponge right now dipped in water to kind of blend it a little bit. So many fun things you can do, and a lot of it is just self-discovery. Just play, try something, and often it works. I learned like 10 new things in painting this paint painting. Also too, I'm going to dilute it a little bit more um, to create the sky. I, there needed to be a little bit of depth to the sky. So I used this Tupperware container. I had never done this before. I had water in one side where I could kind of control how diluted I make this. Again, I'm encouraging you like I'm doing here to try using both hands when you paint. I think you can find um, not only is it practical when you can't get to it with one arm, um, it's really a neat way Way to get some nice gesture. This month's focus in Monet Cafe has been called Different Strokes. We're trying, trying to break out of our old habits and come up with new techniques and a new style. And often emulating another artist is a great way to give that a try. Now, I do use a, a paper towel quite a bit in this video, not only to kind of soften some edges of the acrylic ink, but also to blend things when with the soft pastel a paper towel works great for blending on this particular homemade surface and once this is dry it's time for the soft pastel application now the rest of this video will be sped up somewhat again you can slow it down on youtube uh, with the playback speed option uh, but i think you can still learn a lot i have so much other information over on the patreon page but i still love bringing these free videos and this is totally how i learned i am a self-taught artist totally learned everything i know from the internet a lot of youtube videos a lot of finding other artists that i admired and that was not only because I couldn't really afford a lot of workshops or art education, but it wasn't practical for my life either, working and having children. So that's why I love continuing to bring the free content uh, because I know there's lots of you out there. I know there are because you tell me. I, I love your comments and share uh, what you're learning here. I get so much joy from that. Uh, and also too, if you've been coming to this channel a while and you haven't yet subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if right now you'd hit that subscribe button. It truly helps how often YouTube will share my videos and how much success this channel has by the comments, the subscriptions, the likes. So I really appreciate it when you do that. So here's some music for you to enjoy the rest of this. I think you're gonna learn a lot and stay tuned because I'm going to be back at the end with some more commentary. All right, enjoy.
I'm getting close to the finish here and I really liked how my goal was to leave a lot of this purple underpainting showing through. I mean, why cover up all that beautiful purple, right? And I was very happy with the looseness and how I didn't cover everything up. So it's time to sign. And this was really a lot of fun. I liked the romantic quality. Again, I love working on homemade surfaces. I hope you learned a lot. Please let me know in the comments section. Again, like this video, subscribe, become a patron if you want more commentary and real-time content. My Patreon family is a beautiful family. Also, I made this available as prints on my Fine Art America site if you would like a print, a uh, canvas print, a framed print. And I might put this in my Etsy shop for sale, but I'm kind enjoying looking at it right now and you can find me at all of those links in this end screen also i have hundreds of free lessons here on the monet cafe channel on youtube check them out and as always god bless you and happy painting